Alright, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Earthbound. We're going to have a rematch with the cops. I will try to be a little bit better with managing my HP this time. Why is the road closed? Yes. Nintendo games. Yeah. Are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes, please. Okay, chortle. Follow me. What's a chortle? Alright. Let's go. Um, oh, it's an ambush. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Alright, well. We'll see. Ah, I am shaking in my boots. You guys beat me up last time. Okay, the cop attacked. Ow, he crushed me. Eh. Oh no! Quit crushing me! That hurts! Okay, so the cop turned back to normal now. And... I'll make sure to heal up this time. Let's go. Life up. Wow, they are just... They're all about crushing! Alright, attack. Oh no! Ooh, I hope I don't run out of PP. Alright, okay, so we got another normal cop here, so that's, that's good. The enemy, the cop left me a hamburger. Ugh, my bad, kid. Here's a hamburger, I'm sorry. Oh, you won. Alright, don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Oh, that's not very nice. Um, alright. To the cop. Okay, so he's attacking. He didn't do a crushing chop, so that's good. Alright. Oh, I'd better heal. Okay, wouldn't surprise me if he does a crushing chop. Okay. The cop turned back to normal. You won! Yay! Okay, let's do this again sometime. Next time, I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. Oh, well, good thing he didn't use it this time. That sounds pretty dangerous. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. Ah, I, I kind of... I'm worried he might. He might do the nuclear suplex. Ow, he crushed me. Okay. That was a pretty lucky smash hit there. Okay. And... Grr, I lost. Oh, I'm so mad. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. Hey, boss! Alright. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition. So, get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. Oh, Captain Strong attacked. Oh, this dude means business. Look at him. Whoa! Okay. Ow! He's swinging. He, oh, he's really mad. Oh no! Oh, if he does that again, I'm finished. This is intense. Oh, he's tough. He's on guard. Okay, good time to heal. Oh, wow, I don't remember ever struggling with this guy as much as I am now. Um, come on, swinging. Maxed out. He's on guard. Okay, we've defeated Captain Strong. Hey, I leveled up, alright. That's a lot of offense. A few guts. That's pretty good. Shield Alpha. Alright. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty Winnet Police Force. Well, I didn't the first time. You guys kicked my butt. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Yo guys, this kid beat us all up. 
So uh, let them through. Er, click strong here. Do you read me? Er, hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Jeff will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Uh, well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. All right. We are now above the law. All right. Let's see who we got in the cells. Hey, I'm in here. Go and find another can. Ha! I was just joking. That was a pretty good joke. Uh? Psst! I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. Alright. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Okay. Alright. He's, he's got a good point there. We really don't have any business being here. Yo, Strong. I've been playing Earthbound lately. I'm having a tough time. I just got my butt kicked by all the cops in the police station. Why are you asking about a driver's license? You're way too young to even think about getting behind the wheel, you little pest. Well, the riot's over. Now I can move on to parking enforcement. Hooray! Life is good! Dum dee dee dee. Okay. So, let's, let's see. Uh, road to Tucson. Ah, oh, very nice. Hey, guys. Hey, aren't you Jeff? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. Hey, you too. Thanks, man. You're doing well. Keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Wait, I can't check it out at the library because I already have it. Woo! Alright, the road to Tucson. There's some bugs on the road, but they're running away from me. Uh, what's up, man? You got a, a mice problem here. It's no good. I live rent-free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They are very kind, and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. Huh? Please take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, and that's because he is. But he's holding a sign, so that's pretty cool. But he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? Yeah, only if it's free. He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Jeff got the exit mouse. Alright. Okay, so we are on the winding road to Tucson here. Doesn't look like there's any any items over there or anything. So. Uh, oh yeah, this is very windy. Uh, what do we got there? There's a hamburger and... Oh no, a mushroom with legs! I don't know how that didn't uh, do a red swirl there, but I guess I won't complain. Uh, rambling evil mushroom. Wow, that's... that's painful. Okay. But we won. Under what he was rambling about. Mushroom problems, I suppose. Uh, so we avoided that one, so that's good. Alright. Here we are in Tucson, and I've always really liked the music in Tucson, but I, I feel like I could say that about most of this game. It's, it just has really good tunes. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and enemies. It's easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. They're coming out of holes with spears. Except for me. Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you avoid your enemies. 
Very true. I should have fought that mushroom back there. Ugh! Alright. Uh... Well, I'm gonna avoid these ones, because I don't even have enough magic to use ACDC Alpha. I gotta be careful. Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? Yeah, sure. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. There's the Polestar Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Burglin Park. It's exciting. You might get burgled there. East of the pe east of the town, you find the Peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Yeah, what else you got? Well, teehee. I don't know anything else. Uh, well, that was a very substantial amount of information. Thank you all the same. Tucson. We got this name because we weren't first. They were second. Oh, very nice. All right, so we need to stay at the hotel. Uh, one night's fifty dollars, and your parents' signature. Uh, please select a transaction. Uh, why don't we, you know, let's take out five hundred. I won't take out the whole thing because if the previous episodes are any indication, I'm prone to getting game overs, so I better not lose all my money. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. A one night stay will cost you $50. Would you like to stay? Yeah, sure, why not? Have a nice stay. Uh, okay. Nice. Cool lamp. Uh, we got... How about reading the newspaper before you go? Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune headline. Ghosts found to inhabit tunnel to Threed. That's pretty scary. Gotta watch out for that tunnel. What? Oh, that's that kind of fair. I guess if a little kid comes up to you, you know, staring at you in a hotel lobby, you might be wondering what's going on too. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first-class hotel like this one. Hey, you know, I, I got some cash. Alright. Um, cycle shop. Kind of looks like uh, he has a couple of vampire fangs. This is the cycle shop. Puncture. Oh, puncture. Oh, yeah. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yes, please. Fortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. Do you want to rent one? Yes. I really like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what. I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Wow. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle? So, of course, three or four people on a bike would be impossible. Did you also know that you can't ride a bike with anything following you? That means teddy bears. Oh, yeah. Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible for you. And don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. Hey, you're thinking about it, aren't you? Ugh, I was. I'm sorry. All right. Whoa. Hey, it's that flying picture guy. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, Fuzzy Pickles. Fuzzy Pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Well, that seems like a pretty good place to stop with this episode. So uh, if you enjoyed this, please maybe throw me a like or a subscription. And um, maybe tune into the next episode too. All right, thanks. Bye.